Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and thank you so much for joining me today for cash stuffing. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for joining us. And if it's not your first time here, thanks so much for coming back. Um, today we're going to be cash stuffing a total of $350. Um, and I do just want to preface this video with we are watching some of our friends' dogs and their puppy and our puppy really really love playing with each other more specifically love playing in each other's mouths um so if you can by chance hear that throughout today's video i do apologize if it's distracting or anything like that but there's not really a time where they aren't playing um and i need to go ahead and get this cash stuffing done so we'll go ahead and set this up we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 that's 200 220 to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 320, 325, 330, 335, 340, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 350. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my coins away for this week. We've got a pretty healthy handful for this week. I'll go ahead and get those put in there. All right, so it has our total on there. So 66, 67. I'm glad there was an extra penny. I'm kind of weird like that. And then I do have my receipts that I'm going to go ahead and scan into Fetch and Receipt Hog. Um, those are both two different apps that you can use. Um, Fetch, you get to redeem like points for gift cards. And with Receipt Hog, you get coins when you scan them in. And you can... Um, basically change the coins into real cash and have it deposited back into your PayPal account. So I really, really like that one. Um, I will leave both of my like referral links in the bottom and then we both get a couple of points um, when you use that to sign up. So if you want to use that, I will super appreciate it. And uh, that's it for all that. So we'll go ahead and get into the stuffing. Starting out with our white binder. Groceries is going to be getting $15. So in here we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. And that is adding up really nicely. We're still doing good on a couple of things. I might have to run out and get like some fruit or things like that uh, over the next couple of days. But other than that, I'm probably going to use it for, uh, we normally do like a big seafood royal for Mother's Day. Um, so I'll probably use a bit of that for that celebration since we have some in there and we're still pretty stocked up on food. Dining out is going to be getting 20. <clears throat> So now that has 2041, and I haven't done an unstuffing for this week yet, um, just because I wanted to go ahead and get the cash stuffing done, so that way when I do the unstuffing, I can also do a little bill swap. Um, I just didn't want to do the bill swap and then fill it back up with smaller bills, if that makes sense. Um, baby fund is going to be getting 10. So in here we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, and 70. Date night is getting $5. Again, we're still kind of sticking at home. Um, we are going to finally, finally, I know y'all hear me talk about it, I feel like every week, my best friend's wedding is at the end of this week and... Uh, I think we're going to go to maybe a distillery or a winery uh, while we're up in that area. Um, so we might take this and kind of have like a little day date um, for like the day of the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. So we'll take this up there with us. We have 10, 20, 30, 5, and 40. 
So we might just do a little day date since the dogs are going to be taken care of. We're already out. Vacation is getting 20. And that's all that that has. And then pets is also going to get, no, I'm sorry, is going to get 10, not also. So it has 20 and 30. And then extra debt is not getting anything for this week. So next we will do the business binder. We're going to be doing 10 for car maintenance. So we have 10, 20, 30, 45, which will be nice because uh, I think my car is due for another oil change here soon. And gas is going to be getting $40. So it has 20, 40, 65. And that's it there. Next, let's do our home binder. And I'm thinking about redoing the like what's in each of these binders, specifically my white binder and the black binder. Uh, which I kind of have more of setup of like high priority and things I use often and then low priority. I think I might want to switch them into uh, things that I am kind of more of like one for cash envelopes and then one for sinking funds um, and then just kind of put all the sinking funds together because I find that when I'm going to pull money during the week for things, I'm having to pull out of like both of them um, just for things that we spend every week. Um, so I'm kind of toying around with, with that idea. Um, bulk shopping is going to be getting 15. <clears throat> the two dogs, sorry about the whimper. They're both chewing the same bone, just one at one end and one at the other. So, uh, they're not super thrilled with each other. Sire. Sorry about that. I had to uh, break them up. Um, uh, and I think that I added the 15 in here. I will know at the end if I have extra that this is where it was meant to go. So Bulk Shop now has 20, 40, 50, 5, and 60, um, which I'll probably be taking some of this. I need to go to Costco and I'm going to be getting um, some breakfast items for us to, for like the bridal party to have the morning of the wedding. So that way my friend does not have to worry with that. So I'll probably be taking that out tomorrow. Feed is going to be getting 10. And that is all that has because we wanted to stock up on some feed for our farm sitter while we're gone. Garden is not going to be getting stuff today and house maintenance is going to be getting 10. So it has 10, 20, 30, and 40. And electric is going to be getting 10. I think our bill is finally going to be, well, I got the bill for, we're in May. So I got the bill for April, which is due at the end of May, if that makes sense. Um, and that bill has been... A little less than what our bills were over the winter thank goodness because they were definitely getting up there um, so hopefully this um, we should be on track for that bill and it has 20 40 and 50 in there and that's all here and then finishing well not finishing up I don't even know why I'm saying that Going on to lower priority, like for instance, like my spending is in here and like I use that every week kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I think I might be switching these up. We shall see. But spending is going to be getting 20. So it now has 20, 30, 40. Health is going to be getting 10. And that is all that it has for now. Self-care is getting 10 as well. 
So that is 10, 20, 35. Christmas is getting 24 and oh my gosh, you guys are going to be so proud of me. I think I remembered all of my pins for the different trackers that I have. So let's stuff this first so I don't confuse myself. So we've got 20 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So Christmas now has, and I know this is one of the ones that I need to condense, it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 130, 140, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 156. So let's go ahead. I'm going to leave that out. So that was enough for two of the dots. So I'm just going to go ahead and color those in really quickly. And sorry if it just got super dark. I'm not looking at my camera, so I don't really know. But I feel like a big cloud just uh, came in the way. So yeah, sorry about the lighting change there. Alright, so we've got those colored in. We will get that back in here. But yeah, that's definitely one of the ones that I need to condense down and... Uh, like, I think I'm going to pull some out and put it into my high yield savings account and just get a placeholder in there for some of that since it is uh, growing quite a bit. And then uh, gifts is not getting stuffed and animal bills not getting stuffed. So that's all for this one. I'm going to go ahead and do my abundant gains $200 challenge. And uh, I am putting $8 in here. So one one two three and again this is another one that I need to because it's kind of starting to push out the envelope a little bit um, so I want to get this one condensed down to and I'm not going to count it um, because I'm going to count it anyway when I go to condense it um, and I know that the challenge ends up adding up into $200 because it's a $200 challenge. And I actually remember to grab my pin for this too. So we're going to color in an eight. And this normally take, I normally have to come back because um, <clears throat> I like them to be completely colored in. And I don't even know. Oh, you can kind of see it, but it, um, it takes like two coats for it to be like completely opaque. Um, so I'll have to come back once that dries and do that one one more time. But I'm really happy with how quickly that challenge is going. And what I'm going to do with that when I finish it is put it towards whatever credit card I'm working on at the moment. Um, and then start with another challenge in there. And now we're going to just the regular savings that I have. And our emergency fund, which is also like my month ahead, I just use the same envelope, um, is going to be getting 50. So we have 1,500 in a high yield savings account. So this is 1,600, 1,650, 1,700. And like I said, since I'm self-employed, I just want to try to get that to about a month's worth of expenses. Um... I feel just more secure with that as an emergency fund versus just a thousand dollars just because my income can vary greatly week to week. My niece's savings is going to be getting three dollars. One, two, three. Again, one that needs to be condensed down terribly. <laughs> um, so it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'll probably use that to make change for the unstuffing and that will work on condensing that one down anyway. 
my maternity leave is going to be getting 50 again if you're new um because i am self-employed i cannot get a maternity leave through an employer um so i'm just funding it myself another reason why i want the emergency fund to be a month ahead because i'm doing two months of my expenses as maternity leave that's what i would like to save up to that's my goal and then I'll have that month for my emergency. So it's really like I'll have three months saved up. Um, I don't think that I'll be taking that much time. But if I want to, I'll be able to. So we have $1,000 in the in our high yield savings account. So $1,150. All right. And that is it for today's cash stuffing. I, again, appreciate you guys so much for joining me through this, and I am so happy. I really hope that this is helping some people in their budgeting journey, and I will see y'all later this week for an unstuffing and bill swap slash mini condensing. I hope that y'all have an awesome one. Bye.